isn't football brilliant? Whether you have a team or not, whether you just support the national team. Football is brilliant. I love football, if you couldn't tell. Last World Cup, World Cup 2018, we had the best summer of our lives as England supporters. We win it. We, it was coming home. It was coming home. We were in the semi-final. As soon as Kieran Trippier scored that free kick, we were we were winning the World Cup. Sadly, it didn't happen. Um, but we had one of the best summers as a footballer nation, forever. As long as I've been alive, that was the greatest World Cup, and I still feel a little, you know, heartbroken that we we didn't win. My club Sunderland got relegated again last season, which it, it's not nice to 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 be a part of a club that's just failing. But in the summer we got new owners, we got a new manager, things are looking up, and the big games that we all want are football and derbies. We want to play in Newcastle. Yes, we played them in the Checker Trade Trophy, but it doesn't really count because that was their under twenty three side. Yes, we won. Yes, it was great to just, you know, see our friendly rivals up in the uh, Premier Concourse. Uh, just pretending that they didn't care about the Checker Trade Trophy yet. There was 2,800 of them. It's probably because it was against Sunderland. They were there for because it was against Sunderland. We were there because it was against Newcastle. Right? But we love the derby. Especially if you win... It's the greatest feeling on earth winning a derby. Probably after getting married or having kids. But if you haven't had kids or haven't been married and you're an avid Sunderland supporter like me or a football supporter, if your team wins the derby, it's brilliant. In Europe, there's some spectacular scenes in a derby, especially over the ones in like Belgrade and all them and that, that area of, the, of Europe. The, the flares, there's pyro, it's just amazing. It is, it's hands down amazing. But you do have some fans that are complete idiots, complete tools. Like the one today, or yesterday, or whenever this video was out. Like, like the one against uh, against uh, Villa, the Birmingham fan. Yes, this Birmingham fan thought it would be a great idea to not only enter the field of play, which is wrong, uh, you'll get rugby tackled, by the stewards, he also decided to us, sorry, to assault Jack Grealish by punching him in the face. What an idiot! So I thought, a day, let's let's review this incident that happened uh, in the second city derby between Villa and Birmingham at St Andrews. He's just an idiot. So as you can see, we do have the video on screen. We are going to watch it, um, and I just don't condone violence by any means, but after watching this, it's quite clear that he needs a stadium ban for life from all stadiums in the country. You can't see well from that clip because it was a, it's a replay. But uh, if you see Jack Grealish, again highlighted here, number 10, he, remain, he remains calm throughout the whole thing. He doesn't go back to fight. That is that is a, 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 just an image of what football is all about. Well, it, not really. But what I'm, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is he doesn't attack back. Because he knows that he'll get a ban. And nobody wants to be banned from football. Unless you're a and you're this Birmingham City fan. But the other players, the other Villa players, have no guard him. It takes one Villa one Villa player to push them all away. And then chaos ensues. It's just wrong. It is it's 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 not right at all. But he looks so proud that he's done it. As well. He looks good happy. And then the constabulary get him. So, Grealish, he, he gets he gets punched, right, within the first 10 minutes of the game. But what does he do towards the end? He only goes and scores the winner for Villa. So Birmingham 
have lost another derby again. Grealish has scored the winner again. And that that must make his day from coming back from being assaulted to putting to to captaining your childhood club against their biggest rivals and winning the derby. Enough of that. Football hooliganism is wrong. And another another incident this week. Manchester United fan, he got stabbed for watching his football club. Ex Celtic manager, now the Leicester City manager, had his house ransacked by Celtic supporters because Celtic fans lost the plot that their manager had moved on to a bigger club. How many times have Leicester won the Premier League? One. How many times has uh, Celtic won the Premier League? None. Because they're not in it, but still. But what I'm trying to say is you don't go and attack someone or, 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 or scare their children or their wife because you just got bored or you got angry. Like, yes, I get angry at Sunderland. It doesn't mean I'm going to go and murder Jack Ross or, or punch um, Lee Catamore in the face. I'd actually be quite scared to punch Lee Catamore in the face. He had a go at Akin Fenway the other day. But that's not the point. The point is you don't go and attack someone because you don't like them. I wouldn't go up to Ayose Perez or, or Rondon or even Almiron. I wouldn't go and attack them because I don't like Newcastle and I don't like the fact that they're scoring and not going to get relegated this season by the looks of it. I, I just wouldn't do that because it's, it's, it's not in my uh, characteristics. It's not who I am. But still, you just don't do it. You don't, you don't do it at all. Uh, in other news... The about still about football and violence, unfortunately. The last year, last year in April, uh, uh, Simon was it Simon? No, it was Sean. Sorry, Sean Cox got stabbed. He's a Liverpool fan from Ireland. He got stabbed by a Roma fan. That Roma fan was sentenced to prison at a Preston Crown Court. So, well, justice has served itself there. Hopefully, this Birmingham fan gets a lifetime ban from football, and. The FA and the AFL investigate Birmingham because it just shouldn't have happened. You don't go to, you don't play football. Like that's his job. He's gone to work. He's gone to get paid. And then he's gone to work. You don't go to work to be assaulted. That's just my opinion. If you if you agree or disagree, I'd love to know uh, your opinions in the comments below. I'll also leave the link to the official video from Sky Sports Football in the description. It is currently number one on trending, which is mad, but it it should happen. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you did enjoy, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.